The style gallery available from the home tab only displays a fraction of the styles available. To display the rest of the styles, you'll need to click on the little icon in the corner of the styles group and this will open the styles pane. By default, it will only display exactly the same styles that are available already in the styles gallery. So you have to go to the options and change to see all styles. Click OK. And now you will see the full list of available styles within the standard Word document. One style that uh, you will definitely need to use and you'll have to modify to suit your needs is Heading 3 style, which you can find right here. To modify the style, simply right click on it and click modify. So it works exactly the same way as the styles gallery. And you can see why you need to go and change it. You have the wrong color, you have to use black and it needs to be bold, it needs to be the same font as all the rest, which in my case is Aereo, and it needs to be the same alignment as all my previous headings, so it needs to be left aligned, and the size will need to be one step down from the previous choices you've picked. In my case, heading 1 was size 16, heading 2 was size 15, so this will be 14. You can choose it from the drop-down list, or click and type it. Once you've selected the basic formatting settings, you can click on the format button and go to paragraph to set up the additional more advanced settings. And you can see the outline level is level three. Level three heading in a dissertation will be a subsection within a section within a chapter. We do not require any additional special indentation options to set. All we need to do is change the spacing. A heading of level 3 will be in the middle of the text and it's going to be relatively minor heading. For a large dissertation under heading 3, you would expect to have still reasonable amount of text, a few paragraphs perhaps. So spacing of 12 points before and 12 after should look alright. And then the line and page breaks, double checking, they should all be absolutely fine. And then click OK to confirm all the changes and click OK to finish modifying the style.